Yo, what's good, y'all? Back with another one. <sighs> well, yesterday was uh, not the way I expected it to go. <laughs> That's a fucking understatement of the year. Because, I mean, I'm going to be real with y'all. If we were going to lose to the Eagles, I wanted to at least be competitive. I wanted to go out fucking guns blazing. Like... I didn't want to fucking go out like bringing a knife to a gunfight with literally no fucking quarterback. Like I had a bad feeling once Brock elbow got hit that it was bad. It was over from there, to be honest with you, because I saw the replay when Hassan Reddick hit his arm and his elbow literally bent back like it was that was bad, yo. That reminded me of Joe Montana in 1990 when fucking Leonard Marshall fucking smashed him to pieces and his fucking elbow got fucking drug into the damn turf. Like, and I ain't gonna, and I was what, four or five years old and I was watching that shit. I was fucking crying. <laughs> That's the only time I ever cried during a fucking game is when Joe Montana got fucking hurt, got fucking decapitated by Leonard Marshall. But. That's how I felt yesterday when Brock got his fucking arm hit, yo. Like, hopefully Brock is going to be all right in the start of next season, man. Because that might be a fucking... That's that that's a that's a, a damaged elbow injury, I could tell. But my takeaway from yesterday's game, outside of obviously losing... Like, we got to... Like, we got to fix the right side of our offensive line, yo. Like... That shit was atrocious. Mike McGlinchey was a fucking scrub like he's always been. Spencer Burford, he'll get better. Like, he's a rookie. Like, so I'm not really, like, tripping about him. But Mike McGlinchey, come on, man. Like, you don't block Hassan Reddick, bro. You let the tight end block him. Come on, man. Like, the only thing I was mad about Kyle Shanahan yesterday was that he didn't challenge that fucking first play call with Devontae Smith because that was clearly not a fucking catch. I saw that shit when it fucking happened. I knew that wasn't a fucking catch, yo. That's why his ass got up and said, hurry up and huddle. But that was on us. That's on Kyle Shanahan. He should have fucking challenged that play. That changed the whole momentum of the game, that play right there, besides Brock getting hurt. But, man, huh. It was a fucking, uh, how should I, this season was a roller coaster. It started out with, it started out with Trey getting hurt and me being fucking literally down for the rest of the year. Cause I was pissed off about that one. And then it rolls back up, not necessarily because of Jimmy Garoppolo, but he was playing probably his most consistent football of his career since 2017 but then he got fucking hurt and then Brock stepped in and then Brock looked better than Jimmy did so that's why I mean I felt good going into yesterday that we could have won that game but at the end of the day man you got to keep your quarterbacks healthy or you have no chance you can't beat no fucking you can't beat no t NFL team with a fourth string quarterback and then let alone he gets fucking hurt so I mean come on man it is what it is, man, but can't make excuses. Got to get it done, man. But congratulations to the Eagles. I'm not going to sit here and fucking trip about the officiating or none of that shit because at the end of the day, if you're good enough, you can overcome bullshit officials. But we didn't do that. We didn't have a chance to. So, like I said, man, congratulations to the Eagles. Go handle your business in the Super Bowl. You know what I mean? It ain't no it ain't no bitterness over here, man. We'll see y'all again next year. But y'all tell me what y'all think. I'ma holler at y'all. Peace.